see broad arrowed. Hey, Mark, um, I've never seen this before. What is that? Yeah, this is uh, what's known as a magazine cutoff. And the idea behind it was the, uh, the short magazine Lee Enfield was issued with a 10-round magazine. But it wasn't issued with extra magazines. Although you could easily change a magazine and swap out an empty one for a full one, they didn't issue many extra magazines to the soldiers. So the soldiers had to reload the rifle using a stripper clip through the top cover. And this bridge here accepted the stripper. And they would push the bullets down into the magazine. Two five-round stripper clips would fill the ten-round magazine. Then you put the magazine cut off over top. And what happens is you turn the rifle into a single shot. Oh. So you're not touching anything in the magazine. Those preloaded 10 rounds are there for when you need a rapid fire in an emergency. And in the meantime, you single load the rifle one cartridge at a time. Cartridge, bang, cartridge, bang, and so on. And then when the enemy gets close and you need to go to rapid fire, you open up the magazine cutoff, and now you have access to the 10 rounds in the magazine, one after the other for mm. rapid fire. And this is a SMLE? This is a short magazine, Lee Enfield, 1914. And this one is Canadian stamped, Canadian marked right there, the sea broad arrow, which means it saw Canadian service in World War One. Now this one didn't see much service anywhere because it's in virtually mint condition. Pristine condition. So pretty much unissued. It would have been accepted for Canadian issue but uh, I don't think it ever saw any action. Thank you, Mark. You're very welcome.